Hello everyone, 1.20 is here and I'm so excited to start a new Let's Play series exploring this update. I did pick out a seed for this series, so I do know where I'm going to base, but I know nothing else about the seed, and I will also leave it down below if you want to play in this world with me. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in to this 1.20 Let's Play world. And here we are at world spawn. It looks like we have a shipwreck and then just lots of planes. I will, of course, go ahead and chop down this tree and make myself a wooden pickaxe. Oh, there's so much iron right there. Okay, we are definitely heading down there and before I get too ahead of myself I do need to craft myself some stone tools stone tools acquired now let's go get this iron this will be so helpful for early game and we can even shear sheep instead of killing them which is always a plus in my eyes i'll go ahead and start smelting the iron down we can even make a shield such a great start and it looks like it goes all the way down to a deep slate here that's super cool but we won't be going down there just yet Ooh, some lapis do we need an iron pickaxe for lapis I honestly have no idea. Let's find out. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, cool. Before the day gets ahead of us, I really need to give myself a bed. Food would be lovely. Um, there's an enchanted spider down there. Shield is crafted. You love to see it. Of course, we need some shears and then maybe even a chest plate. Might as well, right? There's a sheep right over there. So we will go ahead and shear that one for some wool. Then we can make a bed. Oh my gosh, there's a cherry grove biome right here. Did I know that? Spoiler alert, we are going to base outside of the cherry grove, but I really did not realize that it was so close to spawn. That is so cool. Okay, so exciting. Wow, cherry grove right there. We will base right outside of it. It's gonna be so pretty. Now little sheepy, just eat a little bit more grass, please. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and craft ourselves a bed. And we're pretty much set up other than food. We do need food. One of my favorite food sources early game is actually fish. They're just so easy to come by. And this is pretty cozy if I do say so myself. I would like to check out that shipwreck because I believe there could be armor trims in there, couldn't there? Like the coast armor trim or something like that. I do wanna check it out for sure. All right, let's see here. I do like to drown sometimes. So hopefully I can explore this safely without drowning. We have ourselves a chest here. Ooh, moss, that will be fantastic and some potatoes and carrots. So if we don't find a village right away, we're going to be fine. And then there's another chest right over this way with some paper and books and a buried treasure map. Whoa, so many cool finds. I believe there should be one more chest though. Oh, I think it's right here. Oh, no armor trims, but some other goodies. I will take that for sure. I'll also take some of the sugar cane. I kind of like the idea of having our first night set up right here. So I think I'm just going to leave it. We do have shears so we can get wool pretty easily and we'll just craft ourselves another bed. New bed crafted. Now off to check out the cherry grove. Would you look at that with the icy and snowy mountain? It's going to be so pretty. I love the 1.20 update. It's so cool. And the cherry grove biome. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't think that we're actually going to base inside of the cherry grove biome necessarily, but we are going to base around it and I kind of want to use it as a backdrop and along with the mountain too. The mountain is going to make a beautiful backdrop. So we're kind of just going to snuggle in between some cherry grove and some mountains. But this is so cool and it's so tempting to stay here forever. Look at the little bees nest. That's so cool. I'm so glad that they decided to put bees in the cherry grove biome it's so fitting and also the watercolor here is perfect look how gorgeous this watercolor is imagine some little ponds and streams running through the cherry grove we'll definitely put some builds in the cherry grove for sure there's no way that i can't honestly and there is a unfortunate little lava pool here uh, right beside of a bee. That's kind of scary. I really don't want a forest fire, honestly. We might have to do something about that. But then if we look over this way, there is another snowy mountain 
with even more cherry grove. And I believe there's a flower forest over that way. There's this ocean with some rocky shores. Honestly, whenever I found this seed, I knew it was the one immediately. It's just so pretty. But look at these little valleys. That's a little uh, flower forest right there. There's more cherry grove, mountain there, mountain there. Let me turn up the render distance just a little bit. And there we are. There's even a meadow over that way chef's kiss i i don't have words it's just so pretty so again my seed is down below if you want to play in this little area because i think it's going to be so so cool to base here and i'm so excited for it and look at all the little sheepies over there so cute but I think that I want to put our little starter house right over here at the base of the Cherry Grove so that you can kind of see the Cherry Grove and that snowy icy mountain behind the starter house. So imagine a house right here. It's going to be so cute. I am going to use a little bit of that pink wood and we have to find spruce because I really, really want spruce in the starter house. So we'll just set up our little starter setup here, you know, with the furnace, the crafting table, the usual we'll go ahead and craft ourselves a couple of chests as well start a baby tree farm let's see what this suspicious stew is about oh poison okay fantastic this is great love this before we start exploring for some spruce because we definitely have to do that one way or another i would like to start a little farm and we can plant our potatoes and carrots maybe even start a little sugarcane farm i really want to have a very solid start so that we can build really cool things in this world and just progress a lot faster than I usually progress in my Minecraft worlds. So food and sugarcane is a must. So our house will set here. We'll of course have to do a little bit of flattening and terraforming. So where should we put a little garden? The forest fire has started. We have to do something about that lava. We have to save the bees, save the bees. Oh no, it's so bad. Uh, okay, save the bees. Wow, it spread so fast. That's crazy. This is so sad. Okay, I'm going to try to put out as much of the fire as possible. Oh no, it's spreading so much. We'll have to replant this forest for sure. I just feel so bad for the little bees. We will continue restoring the forest later, I promise. But now on to this garden. I'm going to start by putting an infinite water source here so that we can get water easily. And then honestly, I think I'm going to start the little garden right here. So we'll place a little bit of water. I need to go get my potatoes and carrots. And also, I guess I'll start some wheat as well. We'll plant some potatoes and then I guess we'll just go ahead and put carrots and then we all in the same plot this is just our little baby starter garden we'll have plenty more gardens in this world but this will do for now oh also i need to make myself a pink bed it's only a fitting pink bed and i'll plant a little pink petal right there because why not it's so cute now before we go exploring i do need to get a little bit more food so it's back to collecting fish for me Don't mind if I do. These rocky shores are going to be so great for collecting resources. They usually have lots of coal and even some iron and some copper. I would love to build with copper in this world, honestly. I never, ever build with copper, so it'd be so cool to do it. Of course, we have to make ourselves a pink boat. There is no other boat in this world besides a pink one. This is literally my favorite shade of pink. It's so pretty. And like, look at it down here. It's so cute. I love it so much. Now, finally time for a bit of exploring. This is the 1.20 update after all, all about exploring. So I think I want to go this way via the ocean. Like I was saying before, I only knew where I was going to base. I literally only know this little area over here. So I know nothing else about the seed at all. So we could be exploring for a very, very long time. Hopefully not though. Hopefully we find spruce immediately. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Which way are we feeling? This way or this way? Uh, let's go this way. I don't know why, but... It feels like the right way. And there we go, riding in style in our new pink boat. Love it. Whoa, that is a massive land structure. Wow. And some more rocky cliffs. Those are so cool, actually. And that one looks like it has a little hole inside of it. 
if we ever just want to gather resources not in a cave this mountain is going to be lovely for that because i already see so much iron and copper and coal that is so nice i see some more snow up there there are so many mountains around here which is so so cool maybe we'll be able to find an ancient city pretty easy in this world wouldn't that be so cool i think so oh Spurs, right up there. Perfect. That is where we are headed. It's not a proper taiga, but we'll probably be able to gather at least a couple saplings from those trees. Now we just have to be careful for powdered snow. That's powdered snow right there. And all over there. Okay. We have to be very careful here. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. There's more spurs over that way. Our first spruce tree. So many mountains. This is so cool. I love this seed so much i really cannot wait to explore it even more this is so cool we got four saplings from that one tree that's pretty good honestly we might be good there but it'd be nice to gather four more just in case nine spruce saplings acquired and i guess we can go ahead and just go back on home i didn't think i was going to find spruce this quickly but i'm not complaining either and don't worry we will do lots more exploring in this world for sure but now that i have what i need might as well just go back home and build our starter house we're back at home and now i'm going to build the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your whole life however i don't want puzzle to spread around my world so i'm going to plant the spruce trees up here usually i'll plant spruce trees in the middle of like a lake or something like that but we don't really have a body of water super close like that's close but to me it's a little bit too far away i want it to be very handy to where i'm going to be working so that means building a little sky platform and there we are we can now conveniently make our way up and down our spruce island spruce sky island i also will need a little bit of oak not too much for the build but a little bit and then we will need some of that cherry wood so i had to figure out a way to farm that but i don't really want to tear down like an entire biome you know oh my gosh they grew already literally all i did was make a stone axe and then i turned around and they grew wow talk about fast for the cherry wood i wonder if we go over this way to this cherry biome because i feel like this one isn't that big honestly and i'll still replant the cherry trees don't you worry but this one might be a little bit bigger so we'll just go over here but i really want to spread down this valley here for our builds we're not just gonna stay right over there we'll probably spread all the way down here but now time to chop some of these cherry trees Oh my goodness, these cherry trees drop so many saplings. I chopped down three trees and more saplings are falling. I have 24 saplings right now. That's so cool though, because these saplings are going to be so cute in flower pots. But I believe the sun is setting and I don't have my bed with me, so I do need to head back home. Oh, the sun is definitely not setting, but... It, it's fine and from there i continue to gather even more materials that i'm going to need for the starter house like some sand some cobblestone and also some wood i have been busy and i've collected all of these materials and hopefully this is going to be enough for our starter house fingers crossed but now it is time to do a bit of terraforming and flatten out this land a little bit so that we can actually place a house here. So I'm just going to bring this level down a bit. And then I'll take the dirt that we got and just fill in some of these gaps. Now to kind of map out the build. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine is correct. And then on every corner, we will place some stripped spruce logs like this. This will be a very starter starter house, but it will get the job done. From here, we will kind of have a little greenhouse popping off of the side of it, which is so fun. So something a little bit like this. And then of course it'll be all encased in glass. 
and we could really utilize those bees over there and put them over in the greenhouse. I am going to have a cute little porch coming off the front of it too. I, I just love porches. They're just so cute, aren't they? Now that the base is in, it's time to start placing the walls. And I want all of the bottom parts of the walls to be this cherry stripped log. And then also the sides of it too. So again, all along the bottom will be these stripped cherry logs. And then up the sides that will be able to see will be these stripped logs as well and frankly if we wanted to be a bit cheap we could just like place i don't know a button right here and then just not place any stripped logs here because you won't even see them this here will be the doorway is that a pillager yes it is a pillager okay uh a shield quickly please i thought it was one uh, maybe the rest of them will leave us alone. We can hope for that, right? Guess I will just continue building my house. From here, we will also have a little balcony coming off of the front of the porch with a little window on top. And for the roof, we're going to do a little bit of an oak trim and then we'll have a little bit of spruce filling on the inside of the roof usually i do a darker trim and then a lighter roof but i'm doing it different this time and i'm doing a lighter trim and a darker roof it's not that much of a difference but yeah, it's different than i usually do so it makes me kind of happy and with that that'll give us a roof shape something like this and even in the center, we have some fun little bits. It kind of dips down a little bit. I just love doing that now. I've been adding it to a few of my builds. Uh, it's kind of floating, but it won't be floating for long. But now that you kind of have an idea about how this build is going to look, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of it in. And also the replay mod hasn't been updated yet. So just enjoy a little time lapse of me placing blocks. here is our completed house isn't it so cute i love how this turned out and i really love playing with the two different kinds of pink wood the stripped spruce log and then just the regular planks i think that's so cool i'm excited to actually get things in this greenhouse i don't exactly know what i'm going to do with it but it's a cool addition i really like it now to work on the interior i did go ahead and add a floor and then also we have a proper little upstairs and like an actual floor functioning balcony and you know if we really wanted to we could just fall off here you know if we're feeling a little bit lazy for the downstairs i definitely want to have a little kitchen and also some storage and some workstation blocks we'll add a little smoker and then i'm just thinking about doing these cherry logs as counters maybe it is very different so we'll see about that we'll add some little shelves for some chests a little stone cutter some extra furnaces could come in handy we want a little flower pot with a cute cherry sapling i made a few pink carpets but i don't know if that's too much pink i don't know it's not bad honestly i think it's actually really cute down here for the upstairs of course we have to place our bed maybe i will kind of cover the barrels in some oak trap doors we'll place a lantern and then a little plant of some sort maybe a little dandelion and I will use all of these storage blocks as actual storage, not just decoration, because we're definitely going to need lots of storage, even if it's just these little barrels back here. We can use a cherry signs to label our chests, and I think that we can edit them. Yes, we can, which is so cool. Because I don't really know what I want to place inside of the chest quite yet, but I'll go ahead and get the signs down. And then we could continue to add more storage and other little bits if need be. And that pretty much does it for our bedroom, honestly. What do we think about it maybe i will go ahead and place these barrels down somewhere too like here that works and then i could place some little barrels in these pockets as well it just has to be very functional because this is our starter house after all so it needs to do all of the functions that a house needs to do like storage and cook food and you know 
house or bed. Oh, and the grass has pretty much spread all throughout the greenhouse. So that's awesome. We only have one more little block left. I could put sugarcane in here or crops or bees. So many options. I don't really know what I want to do with it yet, honestly. I do, however, know that I want to place some bushes and I want to sprinkle some cherry leaves around in the little bush piles too. Oh, and then I can't forget, I did want to place some cherry leaves inside too, just so that we can have those particle effects. Is this weird to place them just like, I don't know, in the ceiling like that, but then we get the particle effects and that's so pretty. So I don't care if it looks weird, I love it and we're gonna leave it like that. I want petals falling everywhere in my bedroom. I also think that I'm going to add little shelves here too. I just thought about it. Maybe add some uh, chests there, maybe a chest here. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I like it. I'm definitely very happy with how this house has turned out so far. I do have this monstrosity over here with the cherry trees, the oak trees, and then the spruce trees. I have some sugarcane going, some chests that I need to clean up, and then our garden. It's going really well. I've actually gotten lots of crops from it. We're actually eating baked potatoes right now. And I definitely need to make it all cute here soon, but it's just functional as of now. But last but not least, I would like to get a path in here. I know that we don't really have anywhere for the path to go to, but I feel like the front of your build just isn't complete without a pathway. So I'm just gonna kind of have it going over here to our tree farm slash garden area. And it's pretty much just going to go to nothing for now. It's just going to end abruptly, but it's the thought that counts. And for the path, I do want to mix some stone in here. Usually I just do like a path block pathway with some coarse dirt mixed in, but I think I want them to feel a little bit more developed in this world. We're trying new things. It's it's going well so far. So I'll do some stone and then a little bit of stone bricks and then maybe some coarse dirt. I'm not sure about that one quite yet, but we'll place it and see what happens. And then maybe a little bit of path blocks along the edge. What do we think about that? I mean, that's kind of cool, right? I don't mind that one bit. And then... Last but not least, maybe a little bit of gravel, just a tiny, tiny bit. It is really coming together. I'm so happy with this. I do want to plant some cherry trees up here so we can have some like directly behind our house. Just kind of expand that cherry grove a little bit further down. And then I picked a lot of these pink petals. So I want to sprinkle some pink petals around. This is so good around pathways. All of my pathways forever and always are going to have little pink petals around them. And then I believe that I have a single piece of bone meal. So I do want to bone meal the ground and get, a oh, and I have some bones. Okay, I will definitely use those bones too to make a little bit more bone meal. Just to get a little bit of grass in front of the house. Yes, just like that. Perfect. What do we think? I think it's so cute. In between episodes, I will definitely move all of my stuff from outside of the house to inside of the house. And let me know if you have any ideas of what I should do with this greenhouse. I will do that in next episode. But I think that I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I'm so excited to continue this 1.20 let's play. It's going so well so far and I'm loving it so much. Oh, also, by the way, I did change my skin a little bit, if you can tell. I did just a little bit of tweaking. But if you haven't already, then be sure to like and subscribe and I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.